I'm joined now by Shi Chen, one of the authors of the study. He's an associate professor at the Yale School of Public Health. So, Professor, we've all heard about the negative health effects of air pollution, even death, but this is about intelligence and our minds, and the results are astounding. So what can be done that isn't already being done? So thank you for having me. And uh, I think this is a worrisome message because uh, not only short-term uh, exposure matters, but long-term exposure also matters. And we have to uh, take actions now in order to avoid the children to be exposed to long-term uh, uh, exposure, uh, long-term effect. But uh, on the other hand, we need uh, to wait uh, even longer to see the effect on human beings' uh, cognition because uh, cumulative ma uh, exposure also ma matters. So if for an uh, elderly who already been exposed for like 50 years of uh, 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 polluted air, so uh, one more year of uh, uh, one single year of cleaner air may not make much difference. So we need uh, to uh, take a bold uh, action to uh, make immediate change uh, to address the, the both ends of the life course. And the Chinese government has been doing a lot in the last five years. So there uh, has been a 30 percent reduction in air pollution in China. So that's a great achievement. So we have needs to do more because we know that the first few miles are relatively easy, but the last mile is the most difficult one. Professor, you are one of the researchers of the study. What really stood out to you the most in looking at all the data? So uh, uh, one um, uh, most uh, striking and worrisome is that uh, uh, the effect is towards cumulative towards the elderly. And we know that the older adults, they are making very important decisions in their lifetime. So they need to choose when to retire, what kind of health insurance, how to manage their assets. So those are critical uh, decisions. If their cognitive ability uh, declines as, as a result of air pollution, that will generate uh, a large economic loss and uh, in addition to their health uh, loss. Uh, to air pollution. And the secondly, we find a very big gender difference. So the air pollution generally uh, affect the males more than females. So this is also worrisome, as we know that uh, in China and many other countries, uh, people, especially children, are taking high stake exams. Uh, those exams are determining their future. So for example, the college entrance exam. So if we only schedule a college entrance exam on, on a certain day, if that day is polluted or, or have how, uh, uh, high temperature, so that may affect uh, people differently. And we know that in the labor market, we need both males and females. But the, the high stake exams will select uh, the imbalanced uh, uh, number of males and the females into the labor market, which may have impact in the longer term to China's labor market. And Professor, we know that this isn't just China. This is a global problem affecting people all over the world. So instead of waiting for governments and industries to do more, is there anything individuals can do, no matter how small, to protect themselves? Yeah, that's a good question. So the, uh, the individual citizens may do something to avoid the short-term effect, but uh, they can wear face masks, they can uh, install air filter, but uh, that may not be able to address the longer-term effect. So the long-term exposure has to be done by the government to regulate and clean the air further. Uh, so that will uh, have an even bigger impact according to our study. And it's the first of the kind, but are you optimistic about the upcoming WHO Global Conference addressing health and air pollution that's taking place in Geneva? Yeah, I'm, I'm confident about that, and I think this should be a global action. So there is no border for clean air or polluted air. So there is a spillover effect of, of uh, environmental policy in this country to the other countries. So we have to take action globally, and this is a very important global health issue. To address. All right, Professor Shi Chen, thank you for joining us in Beijing.